Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to be talking about bentonite clay, its uses and its benefits. So um, I'm probably not gonna go into all the many things it's good for, but I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can. Now I've been using bentonite clay for many years in several different ways. And the first thing I wanna mention is there actually, there's actually two main types of bentonite clay. There's actually several different types but both of the main types are good and that is your sodium bentonite clay and your calcium bentonite clay one has slightly different benefits than the other but really they're both i would say they're equally as beneficial what you'll find what i have here and i will link to both of the brands that i use down below and they're actually both the same kind they're both a sodium bentonite clay i first off started buying the star west brand then I found the Wyoming Best, and for a while there, I, I was meaning to link to it on Amazon when I talk about it, but I couldn't find it. And finally, I found it again, so I don't know if they just stopped carrying it for a while, but I bought a lot of this, actually. I bought two of these, and there's actually two of these buckets in each one, and I found it to be a better deal. And uh, anyway, I, I believe they're equally as good, but they're both the sodium bentonite clay. Now, the main difference is, is that the sodium bentonite clay is going to have more detoxifying properties so if you take it internally it's going to do a little better job at flushing things out but virtually they are pretty much the same and then what the calcium bentonite clay is going to have that's going to be slightly better is being a little bit higher in minerals in order to uh, remineralize so that would be the better one for adding to your tooth powder however I use the sodium bentonite clay and I use it in everything that I do which I'll be talking about here shortly so first off let's talk about its uh, its benefits so it's got a few benefits that it's that it's best at and one of the things the very top thing on the list is going to be its detoxifying benefits and how it works is that uh, when it gets, when it's combined with a liquid, it basically is, it activates it and it becomes electrically charged, so to speak. So it, it has a negative charge. And so what it's going to do is gonna bind itself to the positive charge in the chemicals and toxins and uh, heavy metals in your body and then it's it basically just absorbs them too and then it carries them out so when you take it internally that is just one way it's going to flush all that out and that you know it's not just the heavy metals but other toxins and even said to work well for parasites and also for bad bacteria but it seems to not flush out the good bacteria which means it's going to help balance your gut flora so that's just really really excellent and also and also while it's doing that while it's taking the uh, heavy metals and the other bad things out of our body it's also putting in the multi minerals that it carries and the the three things that it's highest in is calcium magnesium and potassium and there we go there's our three bond powerhouse of minerals that work well together and so you're getting all that great stuff put back into your body or if you're adding it to your tooth powder like I do you're helping to remineralize your teeth with the calcium and then the magnesium potassium working in tandem with that it's also a really great anti-inflammatory taken both internally but used externally so then using it ex externally what it's good for is uh, it's good for purification helping to clear up blemishes it's good for rashes uh, bug bites eczema cuts and stings and even burns and so that would be using it in the form of a poultice or a clay mask now i have a video i did about how to make your own herbal clay mask using the bentonite clay i'll go ahead and link to it right up here so you can check it out and uh, that is my own recipe there but you can take it and you can uh, work with it and find out what herbs and essential oils and stuff you want to add that's going to work best for you but I love that clay mask. Um, I don't use it as often as I used to because I just really don't even need it. But every once in a while, I still might get a, sing a blemish here and there. And when I put that on there and leave it on for about 15, 20 minutes and clean it off, 
uh, the next day the blemish is gone most of the time or it heals it up really quick and it's what it's doing is it's drawing those toxins out while infusing the skin with those great minerals that's going to help the skin uh, fight the infections as well and I also believe this is hypothesis this isn't something I read up on our study but I believe the use of this on your skin is also going to help increase the blood flow to the area which will also help speed up healing to whatever it is you need it on now i've never actually tried it on cuts burns stings or anything like that i've only used it on blemishes when it comes to externally and also just to uh just to clean my skin just put it on there leave it for 15 20 minutes and then and wash it off and it just i love what it does for my skin even though i don't use it that often but one thing i can say from experience is I don't recommend using it uh, daily on your skin because you know especially on your face because what I found was that I used it three days in a row it actually made my feet face turn beet red every part where the the clay mask was on and uh, I think it was just because it's so detoxifying I think it was just a little bit too much and doing it that much in a row but maybe once a week a couple times a week should be plenty anyway and I don't even do it that often but if you have acne this is something I would definitely recommend but again I would say stick with only maybe two to three times a week but you may just need to find what works for you maybe you can use it daily and it's fine but I don't have sensitive skin necessarily and so it, that was a little bit surprising to me but then again my you know being at that I'm at that later time in my life where I'm going through that change of life which makes our a, a woman's skin a lot more sensitive to things anyway that could also be why I have to be careful with it so coming back to the digestion thing bentonite clay is really great for digestive health so i did mention already how it helps to balance your gut flora and it also helps flush everything out pulling everything out but it's also really good if you have any type of digestive problems such as nausea especially diarrhea i would think it would help with acid reflux it's even actually good at alleviating morning sickness so that's something to consider right there if that's something that you deal with when you're pregnant the other thing that the the bentonite clay does for your body it helps to add more alkalinity to it so if you have a more high acid diet or you, you've been tested and you find it you're you know your saliva or whatever it is you're testing is very acidic then consider using the bentonite clay now as far as taking internally i'll go ahead and touch on this now it's going to wait till the end simply look at taking a teaspoon at a time mixed in some kind of liquid either early in the morning first thing when you get up or just before you go to bed it's better not to take it during the day especially if you're eating lots of things that are, are high in, in other nutrients that you're wanting to get into your body because it can be a little bit too detoxifying to the point that it may carry some of that stuff out as you're trying to you know before it has a chance to be assimilated in the body and so that it can be of use now studies have been done on the bentonite clay that show that it's very effective at helping to cure MRSA uh, salmonella and even E. coli and so I you know when you think about all that stuff what's another great reason just to have this stuff on hand I mean it has many purposes but even for just those three things alone and the fact that it's detoxifying and the fact that it helps with digestive health I mean all you put all that together this is a powerhouse right here that I recommend everybody keep stocked in their pantry now let me talk about some of the ways that I use the bentonite clay now I did mention the clay mask that I like to put on my face I have also taken that clay mask and used it on my hair mostly just you know to, on the scalp and out on my hair a little bit but you could use it all through your hair if you wanted to and what I would do is I'd put it on uh, before I was going to shower and then let it sit on there for 15 to 20 minutes and then just simply wash it out and wash my hair like I normally would and I noticed a really big change so you think about that a lot of times that we carry a lot of the heavy metals in our hair even and so when you put that on your hair that's going to help 
pull all that out of your hair and really clean your hair and it does i find that it softens my hair quite a bit too so there's a couple of different ways that you can use that clay mask and remember that you can also make more of a poultice out of it me i would just simply use my clay mask so next time i get a burn a scratch a cut if i remember i'm going to take my clay mask and put a little bit of that on there and see how that works for me and then i also mentioned using it in a tooth powder this is what i do i've actually have a, a tooth powder recipe I, i'm always changing it all the time and mixing it up but i'll go ahead and link to my last tooth powder recipe up here i believe in that one i am using the bentonite clay if i'm not then take that recipe and simply add some bentonite clay to it and then mix it in really well and then there you go you've got a really great tooth powder that's not only going to kill the bad bacteria in your mouth it's going to remineralize your teeth and then just clean them really good and it also helps to whiten your teeth as well i've noticed that with the bentonite clay that it works better at whitening my teeth than say the baking soda did I also have started adding a, a pinch of this to my mascara recipe. So if you want to see my mascara recipe, one of these days I need to reshoot that video with better lighting and I might someday in the near future, but I'll link to it up here. You can check that out. And what I've started doing is putting in just a little bit of bentonite clay. It was just an experiment and I've really liked how it works. I find that it gives my mascara better stain power as well as I know this, it's just doing good things for my eyelashes. I also use this in a foot powder that is going to just be generally good for your, you know, keeping your feet uh, detoxified and helping to prevent toenail funguses or other foot funguses and keeping them dry because it's good at absorbing moisture. And I do a, a basically a half and half recipe. Again, I have a recipe on that I will link to right up here as well so you can check it out. So really great foot powder. You can put it in your socks and use that. And then I also add it to some of my homemade soaps, particularly the ones that I sell in my Etsy store. I have a couple of different ones that I use the bentonite clay in. And so what that, that's gonna do is when you're washing with it, it's, it's, it does, I notice it makes kind of a soft, it just seems like it has a softer feel to it. It's also going to detoxify as you're washing with it. So how cool is that? And then another thing that it can be used for, I haven't tried this yet, but a really great idea, it's funny because it just crossed my mind, is adding it to your deodorant powder. And yes, I have a recipe on the deodorant powder I make. I don't have the bentonite clay in it yet, but I'm going to be trying it next time I mix it up. So I'll link to that recipe up here. And again, just like with the, uh, the tooth powder, uh, you can just simply say, okay, I'm going to add a tablespoon of bentonite clay or more. Now, a couple of the websites that I got uh, I compiled most of my information from about the bentonite clay was draxe.com and also wellness mama. A couple of my favorite places I like to go when looking up information about different things like this and health ideas and even recipes for various things. I do like to make up my own recipes, but I do like to look around and get some basic ideas of where to start if it's something that's totally new. Now, wellness mama has, I think she might even have a recipe on this, she uses the bentonite clay in a baby powder for you know putting in their diaper and so that's something you can think of i think she probably has a recipe on that she has recipes for all kinds of great stuff in fact she's where i got my original mascara recipe from and then just made my own tweaks to so check her website out and then dr josh axe he's got a he's got a youtube channel but he also has the web page and i will link to both of their web pages below now, one of the things I wanted to cover before I finish up this video is, especially if you go back and watch my uh, clay mask video, I'm using a metal fork to mix that up. Now, since that video came out, and then there was another one where I'm using metal, or maybe I'm not using metal, but someone felt the need to bring this up, is there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of people are saying don't use metal when mixing bentonite clay now that's true if you're talking about just any metal however if you're using pure stainless steel 
then it's not going to be a problem. Same thing when it's the same concept as when you're working with fermented things. I always still stay away from using metal as much as I can when I'm doing anything fermented, but most of the metal that I have when I'm mixing this stuff is stainless steel, and stainless steel is non-reactive. It's non-conductive. You can't, it's not going to affect your bentonite clay or your ferment. You can use it in either, it's gonna be fine. I believe the reason most places are gonna say don't use metal is because if they keep it broad, then uh, you'll know just to stay away from metal. And it's always just safest if you're unsure, then use like bamboo or wood or glass. And so those are things to consider if you're unsure whether or not the, the utensils you have or the bowls you have or whatever it is, is if you don't know if it's stainless steel or not. Now, one way you can tell if it's stainless steel is simply put a magnet up to it. If the magnet sticks to it, it's not stainless steel. If it doesn't stick, if it just falls off, then it's stainless steel. And, and uh, if it has a little bit of sticking power, that means it's probably a very poor quality stainless steel. So when, in fact, when you're looking for bentonite clay, if you're gonna go real deep into to seeing how it's mined and all that stuff, they recommend looking for bentonite clay that has been mined with stainless steel rather than any other kind of metal. So anyway, just so you know that, as far as the, you know, they say that the metal will deactivate the bentonite clay, and I believe there's some truth to that, but it's just gonna depend on the metal that you're actually using. One of the things, if you see these metal lids, so I've got a metal lid, and this is not stainless steel, on this jar of bentonite clay. However, what I do with these lids is I coat the inside of them with beeswax. So that shouldn't be a problem. And I'm, you know, and the bent, it's not touching the bentonite clay anyway. But that's what I tend to do with the, you know, because I like the craft lids because they just look cool. But they're not recommended, you know, they're not necessarily food safe. But there's a couple different things you can do. You can also get silicone liners if you like these kind of lids, or just like just do what I do. And I'll be talking about that in a this and that video I'm gonna be doing soon about how to use the beeswax if you want to do it that way. Now, one more thing that I forgot to mention earlier when I was talking about the benefits is the bentonite clay is gonna help get oxygen into your cells. Now, we know that whenever we, we need oxygen all through our body. So when we breathe, you know, we breathe in the oxygen, it goes everywhere. And getting oxygen all throughout the body, especially to areas that need healing, is what's gonna help speed up healing. That is why, one of the reasons why putting heat on an area that's, you know, like you've got a sprain or a strain, uh, anything like that is going to help speed up healing because when you heat that area, it increases the blood flow, which then also carries the oxygen to the area as well as carrying toxins and other things away from it. So, uh, and bentonite clay is gonna help with that. Anyway, a really great thing to have on hand. So again, check out the links below if you're interested in purchasing it. You can, you can look at either one. I know at the time that when I originally stocked up on these, it was a better price than the Star West, but you can compare the prices yourself. It may have changed since because I haven't bought this in a while. So you can check those out and, uh, or maybe even find them on in your local health food store. But just so you know, and I don't talk about this a lot. Some people say I should mention it more, but I always feel uncomfortable doing that. But just so you know, any of the Amazon links I put below, what that does is when you go through any of those links, it doesn't matter what you purchase. Once you go through that link, anything that you put in your cart, what happens then is we get a small percentage out of every purchase that is made. And that's just one way that you can support us that doesn't cost you any more money. And that, that really helps us. It helps keep us getting new equipment because I actually destroyed my last phone right after I shot a video about hoping it would last forever. I slammed it in the truck door and I had to get a new one, but I'm actually glad that I did because what I found is this new phone that I'm shooting my videos from, which is why the main reason why I have this because I found that the old camcorder makes such a dark picture, but this makes an even better picture than my last iPhone. So this is, uh, I'm really happy with this. So everything that you do like that just kind of helps us to be able to invest in better things to help bring you better videos, better 
movie editors and things like that because all that stuff costs money to to get and so when i first started out everything was dark the sound quality wasn't great but i've been learning and improving on things as i go so those little ways that you can help out also help uh you know helps us to bring you better content just so you know however with that in mind if you can find the bentonite clay or any other products that I recommend for a better price, then please go for the better price if you can find it locally. And also because you'll be supporting your local stores and you being frugal and saving money and helping to support your local business is more important than making purchases through our Amazon links. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new and consider stocking up on your bentonite clay so you have it. And oh yes, it's good for your pets too. So there you go. It'll do all the same kind of stuff for your pets as it does for you. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.